Welcome learners, welcome to this pedagogy class and today we are going to study how to design lesson plan for composition that is on your screen. You can see on the screen uh, it starts with date, class, section, period, time, subject and topic. This is the first information that you have to fill as you enter your classroom. You have to fill the date, the date on which you are teaching this particular lesson plan. You have to fill the class also. So I filled it class 6th. So if you are teaching in class 7th, 8th, you have to fill likewise. Then is section, section of that particular class. Then you have to fill period, which period you are taking. You have to fill the time also. Generally the time extends from 35 minutes to 45 minutes. So you have to fill according to the classroom timetable. And then comes subject, the subject you are teaching. So I've written English composition here you need to understand that English has uh, three other parts also that is grammar prose and poetry I have specified composition over here because it is taken separately so you will uh, specify which English you are taking so I have written composition over here and finally on the extreme right there is cow that is topic that topic we are teaching today so here these entries should be filled as soon as you enter the classroom and write in your copies also you will fill, fill the entries in the same way so now let's come uh, to the first point that is name of the school I have filled it here modern junior high school Srinagar uh, this you have to fill according to your own so the school that you will be assigned you have to fill the name of that particular school now let's come to general aims these aims we have already uh, discussed in our lecture so if you have watched my lectures I have uh, discussed these aims over there so we will just uh, skip this part reading fastly so the first point is to enable people to express themselves clearly in an ordinary fashion to enable them to be active participants rather than a passive listener to enable the students to speak simple and correct English and to, uh, uh, develop their expression in writing to develop their imagination to develop in them a habit of clean and logical presentation of facts to give them practice in use of English and to promote a clean thinking in them these are long term aims which are generally decided for a year or for a longer period of time say after completion of junior level of education or senior level of education so now let's come to specific objectives or specific aims these are decided for a particular class so as you enter a classroom you must know that after coming out of the classroom the student should be able to acquire knowledge of that particular topic that you are teaching today and this is what you uh, what what is expected from students the student will be able to recall and recognize animals at understanding level it is expected from students that students will be able to understand about the parts and functions of animals on application part it is expected from students that they will be able to recognize animals and their functions in real life and on the interest part the students will take interest in reading about animals so these, these aims or these objectives are framed for a particular class so as you enter the class you must frame these objectives before entering the class and as you enter the class you must remember that, that these objectives should be achieved after getting out of the class now let's come uh, to another point that is material aids used or generally we say teaching learning material so the teaching learning material that we use in teaching are pictures, chart, roller board chalk duster and other classroom equipments these are the equipments that uh, these are the things that you will be using for that particular class okay so let's start with uh, introductory questions this this column as you can see there are three columns over here this table as you can see right before you it it poses some questions and it expects students to answer those questions so right from here we will uh, start with the question what do you see in this picture that means there has to be picture before students as you can see on extreme right column there is picture of cow rabbit and tiger 
so that means students must see these pictures right before them hanging on the chart paper next to the blackboard so you are going to ask them what do you see in this picture and the students will reply i see animals in this picture or whatever they are they want to answer they will answer quickly second question is what are their names here you need to understand that this particular part tries to bring information out at conscious level actually they have this information they have this kind of information right in their unconscious part but as you pose question we are trying to bring that information right in conscious level so here uh, we go with third question which are the pet animals now looking at these pictures the students will answer yes sir cow and rabbit are pet animals because they have uh, they have seen these animals right question number 4 uh, and uh, this is right question number 4 before you asked what do you know about cow so this question is explanatory in itself so you're not just seeking information from children from students but it is explanatory because uh, students generally will give several answers so i have written various answers over here because i know that students will shout they will answer according to their own information they have now let's skip to the statement of fame uh, this is another point that you have to uh, mention in your copies so you have to write a statement of the aim and here you're going to declare the aim for today so today we shall write few sentences about cow in english this is uh, writing few sentences mean to write composition okay so as you declare a statement of the aim now you go on with your presentation and this is very important part and you have to uh, you have to remember that it consists of six columns right as you can see on your screen starting from serial number teaching points expected behavior outcomes teaching learning process which is again divided in two parts pupil teacher activity and students activity and there is another column teaching methods or aids and finally the last column is of evaluation so this part should come as it is in your lesson plan copy so uh, we'll start from serial number 1 that is narration the teaching point is narration here teacher is narrating few sentences on the topic that you have taken for today that is the cow so expected behavior outcomes this is what is expected from students the students will tell and recognize and identify the picture so this is what is expected from students after students see this picture they are expected to recognize and recall the information that they have about cow so uh, let's come to another point that is teaching learning process as i said it is divided in two parts as you can see on your screen pupil teacher activity and a students activity so what pupil teacher is doing here is recorded in this particular column so the teacher will narrate few sentences this is the activity of teacher so you will be narrating few sentences like it is a cow it is a pet animal cow gives us milk it has four legs so and so and uh, on the students part what students is expected to do the students will listen carefully and recall all the facts and information they have about cow so this this comes only uh, when there is direct picture of cow uh, before the students and this must be on the chart paper right next to the blackboard and uh, in this uh, picture as you can see i have written few sentences over here below this picture there are four sentences and uh, it should be as such in your chart paper this is teaching aids actually this is not teaching methods now you should you should be able to differentiate between methods and aids so this is aids because it is just facilitating my teaching it is just facilitating uh, how to teach students how to uh, how to connect with the idea of cow so this is uh, you have to do this is what you have to paste over here now uh, as you can see on the extreme right hand side evaluation it is just left over because i know uh, this evaluation uh, i'm going to do it in next part next uh, next will you can do that uh, you can ask 
small questions and you can receive answers from students right the sixth the second part is drill so here students will be asked some questions and drill is always about practice and what is expected the student will be able to recall recognize and determine yes this is the thing that i have learned so the students will recall recognize and determine and what the teacher is doing here the teacher is asking following questions and these questions are always based on previous information that you have passed right just now okay the teacher asks these questions what is the name of this animal and the answer comes from the crowd the name of this animal is cow again you are going to pose another question how many legs it has and the children will shout i definitely i know that i've done teaching i know the teach, uh, the students will shout it has four legs and the third question you pose is what is its color so the students will shout it is black in color so it is a kind of drill it is a kind of practice uh, that you do with your students generally to get acquainted with all the information that you have passed right before uh, doing this drill <clears throat> okay now we have finished with three uh, questions here as you can see uh, the next column is of teaching methods or aids and here i've written question answer method now again i want you to be confirmed about the method that we are using we have asked questions and then we have sought answers from students this is question answer method and particularly uh, it is called it is also called as socratic method because socrates used this method to explore knowledge so here again we are using that particular method that is to ask question and to seek information from students and on the extreme right hand side the evaluation column is again blank so we have finished two teaching points here and composition finishes just in two teaching points so it's very easy to formulate now let's come to the other part that is the blackboard summary as you can see on the screen that it's totally black what you have to do is you have to cut uh, a black chart paper and furnish the information as you can see on the top of this blackboard okay so it starts with date and ends up with topic uh, this is uh, this is the same entry that you come up with while you are entering the class and you have to write it directly on blackboard because this is the first step that you have to do and again you can see on this screen that i have written four uh, i have written four statements or four uh, sentences over here cow is pet animal it has four legs its color is black it gives us milk so on and so forth you can frame your own sentences and you can write many more uh, you don't have to write any extra information it is just for students to copy down in their notebooks so if you are explaining if you are writing any other information please immediately rub it because this is what has to go directly into the copies of students finally friends we have here classroom supervision the pupil teacher will supervise the class by making a round in the class while students will note down the blackboard work so here the teacher has to make a round in class and confirm whether each student is writing or not it's a kind of supervision now finally you have to assign some homework also write few lines on the pet animal cow this is homework and fill in the blanks like i have given it here uh, cow gives us dash and you can frame many other sentences using the information that you have delivered today okay finally there is reference books these are the books that you are using to frame your lesson plan don't forget to mention any of the books you are using here please write it here on the last of your lesson plan so friends here we have finished the lesson plan of composition thank you so much so friends here we have discussed how to design lesson plan for composition you can also frame your own lesson plans with other topics thank you so much for watching this video